Christian News Bulletin. The Christian Post reports that as Iraqi-led coalition forces fought to liberate the Iraqi city of Mosul and surrounding areas from Islamic State, two Nineveh towns that were once home to hundreds of Christian families were liberated from the barbaric death cult, according to the Archbishop of Erbil. Chaldean Archbishop Bashar Wada said the hopes of thousands of displaced Christian families are on the rise, knowing that there's finally a concentrated ground effort to reclaim and liberate their homelands from IS. The unfolding crisis in and around Mosul, Iraq, is set to be the largest humanitarian crisis of 2016, as up to one million residents are being forced to flee their homes. Baptist World Aid has been anticipating this and has already sent $65,000 to their local implementing partner, Medair, for relief items. According to Anglican Media, the National Council of Churches in Australia has asked the government to let Australia's faith communities help settle and care for those asylum seekers still on Nauru and Manus Island. Melbourne Anglican Bishop Philip Huggins and General Secretary Sister Elizabeth Delaney are quoted as saying, Hospitality and compassion are shared core values of the major world religions, notwithstanding our many mistakes and failures.